I'm Richard Doherty and I've been farming on Balala for seven years now. We moved across from South Africa in 2011. We have 3,000 acres here and originally Balala Station was one of the founding runs within the New England and was close on 100,000 acres in its day. I've done EIDs um, for the last, oh, since we started on all the new new ewes that, that have been born. But the issues that I'm, I've been, were, been having with that, the productivity and the measuring of it is, you know, there's, in, in hearing about, you know, you need to measure to manage and, but, which is all well and good, but if you're not, if you're just measuring and it's taking time and you're not doing anything or using any of that information, it becomes a pointless exercise. So the system that I'm using and to measure, it's manual. I use a electronic identification wand and I use walkover weighing in a crate. So I'm, I measure on an indicator, which is then identified with the individual animal. So this year I really am, am, am trying to focus and work out which are my better performing ewes and which aren't. So I use a lot of the Australian sheep breeding values in selecting rams. And it's, you know, I've, so I've done the DNA testing and flock profiling to see where I am within my flock. But the actual particular measurements that I want to do, that I feel from an indexing to see what, what is a better performing ewe and what is not, is I'm going to be doing my, the wool and all, the, and all the, the testing that goes with that, the micron and, it's, and the rest of it. But I also feel that somewhere it, it, it's the weight of the animal and its growth rate has something to do with its doing ability. The limitations that I, in, in doing it, are one, just manpower doing it and getting off one's proverbial and doing it. The other is that you've still got to work around. You've also then got to weigh up whether your, what your cost outlays are as to whether you're going to get the cost benefit coming back from that. From a commercial perspective, to be tied in and linked, I think there's, you have to really work, your, work out what those costs are. Um, to have satellite, remote satellite stations around the property to see what's happening. And I don't, that outlay is something for me, could be hugely onerous. And to figure out what the benefit is, I, I, I would question trying to understand the utilization of paddocks and utilization of areas and grazing. That's exciting, that's very exciting. Um, because it, it certainly allows you to figure out through the animal that there's something lacking in a part of the paddock that, that GPS has never been to and to try and figure out why that is the case. Whether, it's a, you know, whether there's a nutrient deficiency or there's something happening in, in the soils or in something, it, it, it really does highlight those things. And that's the, that, that is, I think, what, is, what I get excited about when I read about new innovation and, in, and technology in this, in this space that, we, that we're working in.